With COVID-19 closing the doors on large events right now, the Tucson International Mariachi Conference went from live music to online instructional videos. We can figure out a way, especially as me being an instructor for TUSD, and we've gone to online classes now. So I said, you know what? We can still have the workshops. We may not be able to have the concerts, we may not be able to have the events, um, but you know what? The workshops can still happen. John has been a part of the conference since its second rendition 37 years ago. Back then, as few as six kids showed up. This year, they were expecting 1,200 students as the event has grown. It's really kind of a milestone, right, is, is your musical mariachi career. And so for that to be taken away from them, it's kind of like yanking something special out of your hands. John and Adrian both serve on the board and helped figure out how to at least provide the student instruction aspect online. There was three, four of us that literally sat down and said, all right, let's put a plan to this and let's make this happen for the students. Because um, that, that to us was the number one thing is like the educational portion has to continue. Instructors from all over the U.S. have contributed videos that can be found on their YouTube page. For this piece, uh, this is the way they'll be played. And I have my they wanted to do something to make sure the conference made its 38th debut because, according to Adrian, this is one of the crown jewels of the year for mariachi enthusiasts. It's one of the events probably that's been around the longest that has a lot of value in terms of culture and tradition, uh, specifically for the Latinos here in town, uh, which obviously make up a large percentage of Tucson. While there were no events in person, they say adding the online content is something they will look at continuing because it lets them reach a wider audience. For more information, head to our website, kvoa.com. We've got you covered. Mark Mangura, News 4, Tucson.